Radical. Welcome to Flea Market Stories, the stories of one man's journey into the world of flea marketing. And after I record this, I'll be 100% caught up on Flea Market Stories. Now I just got to get caught up, just got to get caught up on Radical Rapid Fire and Comment of the Week, which I've been neglecting. So I definitely will have a new Comment of the Week tomorrow night. Okay, this day was Sunday, and the weather, it was kind of chilly. Turned into a warm day, but it took a while to get there to a warm day. Now, what I remembered, the two notable things from this day. The first thing would be that I realized if you take random items and you put them on the edge of a table, random unrelated items, you'll have some luck. I, I don't know why, but just take a couple random items, space them out separately, put them on the edge of the table. I sold a men's cologne for 10 bucks. I sold some flex seal and I made some jokes about that guy in the commercial cutting the boat in half. I didn't sell my flex tape. I had some flex tape, but I sold the flex seal for three bucks. Now, this guy got a real good deal on it. You know, I just, I was feeling very generous. So three bucks. I had five bucks on the can, but three bucks. And I told the guy, hey, in the store, that's like 12 bucks a can. So this is an amazing deal. And uh, hopefully it'll work for him. He said, I'm taking a chance here because I'm not sure, not sure if it's going to work for my particular leak. I said, hey, you know what? Take a chance, three bucks. The other thing, this is going to take a take a bit to get into. All right, I'm enjoying telling this story. I've been telling this story to a couple different people today. I acquired a table. The table acquisition, the first time I've actually acquired an entire table of items. And I didn't try to. I didn't try to acquire a table of items. There was a guy selling some stuff right beside of me. It was a bit windy. He was kind of getting like aggravated. And uh, there's another guy that came up, which is kind of a buddy. One of the early people at that flea market that I talked to made friends with him. And he made a joke about, you know, coming by my table, like, uh, and buying it out. Or he said, like, there'll be people to come by your table and want to buy your table out, you know? And I was like, really? Yeah, really? He was talking to this guy. Maybe he might have been a buddy of his. And he motioned over to me and he said, hey, come here, come here, come here. You know, uh, you can buy this man's table for 20 bucks. Not a literal table, because the table belongs to the flea market, but he said I could buy the table for 20 bucks. I'm looking, and I'm looking, and there's a good bit of stuff on the table. And I think they're joking. I'm like, ah, nah, nah, nah. You know, maybe they'll, like, bump up the price to maybe 50 or 60 or 70 bucks. But no, he was dead serious. And I kept trying to, like, kind of, like, turn my head and everything, because I'm like, eh, I'm not trying to really acquire a table. I don't even know if I have, if I have room if I don't sell this stuff, because this was getting close to like one o'clock and, you know, I leave there usually about two, two thirty. I'm thinking like, uh, I don't know, there's dwindling amounts of people because usually that stuff peaks maybe 12, one o'clock. And then after one o'clock, it's steadily, steadily less people. But they were serious. And I looked at the stuff and I'm thinking like, OK, even I if even if I have to leave some of this stuff here or throw it away, there's some pretty good stuff on this table. And I didn't know how much interesting good stuff was actually on that table until I actually was sitting in front of the table. I acquired a table. I looked to my left and then I still had my other tables. I'm thinking like, oh man, I don't have my buddy with me today. Sometimes I have my buddy with me there. And I'm thinking, how am I going to manage this? Because I have to like, I'm literally got one foot near this other table, one foot near the other table, one hand on the other table, one hand on the other tables, just kind of like making everyone aware that all the tables are mine. All the tables are mine. So, yeah, uh, I started selling stuff immediately off of that table. Maybe it was a lucky table. This guy wouldn't sell much from the table, but I was selling a good bit of stuff. And when I say good bit of stuff, I mean like a couple things couple things. I paid $20 for the table. I wound up making $12 and an hour off of that one table. Doesn't sound like a lot, but you got to understand it's down sliding hour, not peak time. And this is impressive. $12 on that table after spending 20 bucks on that table is impressive. Also, 
I started taking things off the table that I wanted. There was a little mini drill, a really nice little mini drill. And I'll show some, some of the stuff maybe on the next show off Saturday. I took that off the table. Um, I took off the blood pressure monitor because I was going to, you know, check a price and see actually how much that was worth. And I think there was a third item I took off the table, maybe three things I took off the table that I definitely kind of wanted to keep or maybe check the price on because some of the stuff people were just going to get a good deal. And people came by at the table and I said, listen, you know, I just acquired this table. And honestly, I mean, if you make me an offer on some of the stuff, especially some of the heavier items, some of the bigger items, I didn't sell the Mr. Coffee. I'm surprised there was a Mr. Coffee on that table. And that Mr. Coffee, I mean, that might net me like 20 bucks in itself. There are some items on this table. I might wind up making $20 on just the items, right? Ton of books, ton of books on this table. Really nice, high quality books. Uh, the kind of books you would get like at Lowe's, you know, gazebos, gardening, all kind of books like that. You know, it doesn't look like a lot of interesting things the way he displayed the stuff on the table. I think his problem was he wasn't displaying that stuff correctly. Instantly, I started getting sales because I was putting like items together. I was arranging them together. Uh, what did I sell? really big uh, what were they no salt and pepper shakers no they were really big uh like i'm not even sure what they were you know i don't do a lot a whole lot of cooking but a woman came by bought some of those items there was um a boat anchor a boat anchor and i sold that for like two bucks like a really heavy boat anchor i'm not sure what they're worth but i told the guy listen that's probably worth a little bit of money but you can have them for two bucks because it's a very heavy item, and I was trying to, like I said, get rid of heavy items and bigger items. Uh, but yeah, so I acquired this stuff. I still have a lot of this stuff. Most of the stuff I have, and I think I can be able to move some of this stuff. But, you know, putting down just 20 bucks, that's the, that's the deal. That's a great deal on that table. A lot of people think about, like, well, you know, they're going to buy, like, a whole lot of video games at once. But, you know, sometimes it's the less glamorous items that you can sell to flea market. It's not always the, the bright, shiny items that you're going to be, you know, getting in bulk. And, you know, yeah, th th so there it was, my, my first table acquisition. And I was trying, like, not to acquire this table for 20 bucks. But this guy, he just seemed like he really wanted to leave. He wanted to leave, and I even got the tablecloth up under that, and he kind of wanted the tablecloth, which was weird. The ironic thing was, this guy was wanting the tablecloth up under, but the tablecloth was trash. It was nasty. A nasty tablecloth. One reason I don't think he was selling stuff off that table was maybe, you know, the tablecloth. It was just kind of kind of dirty looking, at least the underside of it was. But this other guy, he said to this one guy, like, oh, you want a tablecloth? I'll go get you a tablecloth. This other guy is just, you know, it's almost like he's the, uh, he's the guardian angel of the flea market. I'm not sure. Like he just goes around making people's day a lot better and making people happy. But it did make me happy, you know. I guess this guy is happy to get 20 bucks for some of that stuff. And, you know, maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't think much of that stuff. Uh, there was some female stuff there. So maybe he got a divorce and possibly this stuff reminded him of his wife and he wanted to get rid of that stuff. There was uh, some makeup stuff there. There was a container of makeup, which um, uh, I don't know. I have no use for it because I don't put on makeup. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it might be of some use to Woodhawker, possibly. 